May I see you in the ready room? Of course. This is Hector Canales bringing you a quick retro unboxing review of the 1992 Series 1 Star Trek The Next Generation action figures, Lieutenant Commander Data, Lieutenant Worf, by Playmates. I'm a big fan of the original Star Trek series, but I recently did a Wheel of Unboxing Generations edition, and I ended up unboxing three of the Generation figures. And during that time, I also did some research, and I found a first commercial for the Star Trek The Next Generation Playmates figures and it's pretty badass. Suddenly there is an alien presence on the ship. It's one of the Borg, a hostile robotic life form. Commander Riker returns phaser fire. Star Trek The Next Generation action figures from Playmates. And then afterwards I watched Soundout's video reviews on the whole series. This generation's data, it's okay, but watching Soundout's reviews, I found out that the Series 1 data is like 10 times better. So I had to get it. And I also got myself a Worf, because he's Worf. And everybody needs a Worf. Let's take a look at the packaging. It is wonderful, it's beautiful. And this is probably why this toy line did so well right off the bat you've got the enterprise d coming right at you and then coming down you've got the name of the figure you've got a clear view of the figure and its accessories and on the side you've got descriptions of the accessories and it says bonus starfleet action base the back isn't as busy as the front but it still looks spectacular with little bubbles of all the figures in this series that you can collect then specific details for all the accessories that Data and Worf come with. And at the bottom, you've got a great file card. Like basically a G.I. Joe, as I remember it, G.I. Joe file card. And something cool that I've noticed as I've been collecting more and more of these figures is that all their weapons have a different color scheme. Worf's is brown, Generation's Data's is purple, and this Data's is a tangerine orange. And it's very reminiscent to other toy lines, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was also made by Playmates. And it makes it a lot easier to store away and then pick out when you keep them in a little baggie. Attention collectors, each figure individually numbered. And since the figures also came with a stock number on the card, Data was the first to be made. We're going to unbox Data first. just wanted to point this out really quick before I cut out the file card. This background is pretty sweet. It looks like they're on the transporter. And since they're both out, let's smell them. They smell fantastic. They smell like no other retro toy that I've unboxed. They smell like baby toys. Let's take a look at their accessories starting with Data's. Diagnostic testing unit with monitor. Type 2 phaser. His tricorder. and his stand. Now Worf's accessories include Klingon blade and a Klingon sword. And a tricorder, but it doesn't have a handle. And a ceremonial battle sword. Type 2 hand phaser. Looks like a tongue. There seems to be small differences in the phasers for each figure. Worf's Phaser was made out of silver plastic and the beam painted orange, whereas Data's is an orange plastic with the actual phaser painted silver. And of course his own personal stand shaped like the comm badges from season one and two, I believe. And now that we got the figures out, let's take a closer look, starting off with what number they are. I was going to post the figures with all their accessories and whatnot, but it's a bit of a problem. I'll get into it. I'm just gonna start reviewing each figure individually. Starting off with Data, he looks great, 
but his arms, especially his right arm, looks odd, too long, monkeyish. He has a great likeness. I mean, straight out, you know, that's either Brent Spiner, Data, Lore, Dr. Union Singh. You know who it is. I'm trying to get his face focused, but his face is so bright. Right now, I'm noticing that these uniforms don't look like season one or two uniforms. They look like season three on up because they look to be two piece, the jacket and the pants. Season one and two was bodysuit with a zipper down the middle. And something that sound out showed that the generations data didn't have was all these cool little things like his mechanics. And it reminds me of Terminator 2. The only thing is, it doesn't really close. And on the back, it's got an opening. See, it doesn't, also doesn't stay in place and it looks like it's gonna fall off. But the generations data does not have it. And it is a pretty cool little feature. And going down, this arm seems a lot normal than this one there's a you, you can't really pose him any way other than kind of like this because if you straighten out his arm and try to put his arm down it it looks like he broke it somehow and then going down to the pants i'm not sure that's how they were for season three on up these kind of look like season one and two pants because since it was a bodysuit they had the pants kind of gripping the shoes to keep them down, but it does seem to end there. The generations data is considerably taller than the series one data. And this is one of the things I kind of had a problem with his accessories. He doesn't have gripping hands. So they gave his accessories, these handles, which look a bit awkward. And he has a holster for the tricorder but the tricorder doesn't really fit because it's got that handle. His diagnostic thing actually doesn't look that bad. He does look like he's gonna go ghost hunting. And now here's Worf. And before I start bringing him up, let's break it down. Why did they scope him in this action pose? He's supposed to be one of the tallest guys on the crew. Shoulder to shoulder, he's the same height as Data. They made him with his legs spreading out. Cool action. But now I want him to be at his position. And he can't because look at his leg. And he can't stand because of that. I also don't like the way they molded this hand. None of his accessories fit except maybe if you do that. None, none of his accessories fit properly. That's not how you hold the battle sword. So the tricorder fits nicely on them. There, fits nice. Let's look at the other good things. Check out the head sculpt. Who else is this gonna be? But Worf. All the ridges, all the detail is just magnificent. And even the hair sculpt. Terry Hatcher hair from the 90s, but that's the hair he had on the series before he grew it out even more and had a ponytail. Then the Klingon sash. And again, it's a two-piece. Same thing with the with the pants. This is a pretty nice figure. I would say great, except for the way they molded his legs. In that hand, he does have five different accessories to hold, but he could only hold realistically one. And then the other one, his tricorder holster. <sighs> there we go. But as a kid, you're not going to be able to stick that phaser in that tiny hole right there. In the other hand, he can't hold the blade. There we go. He can hold the sword that way. What about the battle sword? They both have the same points of articulation. Head, 
shoulder, G.I. Joe swivel arm, elbow, waist, hip, and knees for 12 points of articulation. There's a small little difference on the com badges where Data's is gold and Warf seems to be made out of copper. On my final analysis, these figures are good. They're not great, but they're pretty cool. I especially like the little extras that they gave Data, especially after thinking this figure was really good. Worf, his stance kind of bothers me, but I do love the likenesses. Both figures and the rest of the line, they're a bit on the cartoonish side, just maybe 10%, 15% cartoonish, but the rest, the likenesses are great. And collecting these is actually a lot of fun. I gotta say it, please like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what was your favorite TNG action figure. Hi. May you please stand over there. You're being replaced. No, no, don't look at them. Just look at me. Yes, it's like when Hector got a new iPhone. Go. Please, don't make this awkward. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> hey, Lore. Hello, Thomas. Oh, s***. Not here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>